It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And today, I want to actually give you a quick commentary. Not necessarily, but I'm going to give you another case or a set of cases and things that occur during a routine traffic stop. And it's something that occurs more often than not. You're going to see a lot of things in this video. And thank you to Bob. That's where I got the video from. One of the things that comes from this is this interaction. There's a lot of things that are said by the police officers that are wrong. Two, they are a lie. Three, there are a couple of things in here that I want you to take from it. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you some, some of my thoughts. So, let's go. How we doing? I'm good, I'm Trooper Sekirka with the Pennsylvania State Police, Strasburg. All right. All right. The reason why we had you pull over, okay, you got a cracked windshield. Oh I yeah, I explained that to, to the. I officer. know. I heard, I heard that. Okay. I, I was the officer. I know you explained that to me. Oh okay. You want to step out of the car for me? For what? Just want to ask you a couple questions out of the vehicle. For what's the What's the purpose of the stop? What's the purpose of the stop? The cracked windshield. But how does that require me to step up? Because that's a violation. So now you're being uh, detained for investigation reasons. So I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle now. Okay. Yo, guys, stay in the car. Don't nobody else have to get out the You can vehicle. leave the phone inside of the vehicle as well. You're not going to need that outside. No, but I'm going to use it for, for, for your safety and my safety. Okay, if you want, I always we can do go. this. This is not I understand. New to if you want, we can live. go up in front of... I understand that. But okay. if you want, we can go up in front of my vehicle, and we can record it up there so everything's for your safety and my no, safety. No, I understand, but I would like to have... have my own record okay, because it's legal. How it's about now? Yeah. I'm hopping out my cousin. Right, just step in front of your car. Right? You got any weapons on you or anything? No, I have. I don't, I don't consent to no search and no seizure. I don't even know what, what yeah, he's Yeah, I'm not about. trying to search you. I'm you, just asking you just if you have asked, any weapons or anything. I'm not answering no questions. Okay, you mind if I pat you down to make sure yeah. that we're safe out here? Because you said you want to be safe, right? I don't know. Well, he has a bathing suit. I just want to pat you down. I, no That's a Terry frisk. I'm not asking to search nothing. you. I'm just looking for weapons, and I'm allowed to do that. So with a lot of detective tests determined, that was a lie. Can I, can I search you for weapons? He, mind you, he has bathing suit shorts on. Okay, it's not a search and seizure. I'm checking you for weapons to make sure I'm safe out here. Okay, do you have an ID? I have, of course, I'm driving a vehicle. Have your ID. Because right now you're being detained because you have a traffic violation. I need to see your identification. What traffic vi violation do you have? He said because I just, I just got hit with a rock. How is that? A, well, a violation in the state of Pennsylvania. Do you have an All ID? Right, so but we heard with those cracks too, and we didn't get pulled okay. over. Right, right, right. So if you don't have an identification. You don't have to give it to me, okay? But I'm going to bring you down to the Monroe County Correct yeah, Facility. I'll see you I'll see you there.
You're not so gonna intimidate to me. I'm just gonna tell you that. Saying, man. Cause you're walking up on me like you I'm need to give me ID. your ID. I'm gonna, let me explain. You're not gonna intimidate. Me. Not trying to. Right? But you need you to are. give me your ID. You I'm asking you questions and you are not complying with. Very good. The way you're coming Why up. Why do I car? smell marijuana what? coming from the car also? Alright. So instead of being somebody cool with it, like yo, like you can win this shit. I understand you just got here with a rod. Yeah, I understand. But then I smell but marijuana, so that's why I was asking about that. Get the okay? dogs is what I'm saying. Let me let me just inform you on this, okay? Because I smell marijuana coming from the car, I don't have to request dogs. That gives me probable cause to search your vehicle if I wanted to. Because I smell marijuana coming from the car, I don't have to request dogs. That gives me probable cause to search your vehicle if I wanted to. Oh, the lot of tech test determined that was a lie. All right, I hope you were able to grab something from that video because there were a lot of things that went on and the unedited version is on there. That's their page. This is the video. I'm actually trying to find the link for you and put it in the description. But keep in mind, you have to understand not only the application or the understanding what case it involves, but how to apply it to your situation. Now, you're going to have these that come up more often than not, but the manner in which you handle it is how it can be set up for court. Because just like I told you, everything that you do has a process to it even traffic stops because it's going big picture don't worry about winning the battle your focus should be on winning the war and sometimes in winning the war the casualties become your patience just understand that aggravation is the only thing they can offer you when they're not doing things lawfully i want to thank everybody that's been donating to the podcast those that have already logged on and become Patreon patrons. And now those that are donating for the channel because this episode is sponsored by my guy, D Baldwin. Appreciate you guys. We're going to keep it growing, keep moving. And I want you to understand, I'm going to continue getting better with this so we can all grow. So thank you guys that have been donating. Let's continue pushing forward. Apple Pay, Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, Google Pay, and PayPal, the Supreme Decisions. So let's keep going. Let's keep growing. Talk to you next time.